Hey there guys, um, I'm in Houston and we are currently getting hit with Harvey's Ugly Stick, so I've kind of been trapped inside all day today and yesterday, not that I have the energy to go out anyways, though it would be nice to get some fresh air and sunshine right about now. Um, I am on the downswing of my bipolar cycle, and it sucks, and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, um, because we need to talk about the reality of depression. I think a lot of people have this romanticized view of depression, of this, like, tragically beautiful girl with tears running down her face or whatever I I don't know and then there's all those like black and white pictures with the depressing quotes on them like this is the reality of depression I slept all day um I was just not feeling it, you know? And I'm kind of blaming my mood on the hurricane. I feel like it's really just dropped with the rain. Um, so yeah, I woke up at about 9. I went down and ate breakfast. I came back up here and went back to bed. And I woke up a little bit before I ate lunch, and then I came back up here and went back to bed. And then I was roused after uh, maybe an hour or two, though, um, to play a game with my family. Um, because we're kind of all in this together, so... Why not, you know, make the most of this time that we're stuck here together? So it wasn't it wasn't quite all day, but it was definitely all morning and well into the afternoon. And I just feel so low on energy right now. And I'm not even, like, sad feeling. I just kind of don't care in a way, I guess. Um, I don't care that I slept my day away, that I just let time pass and didn't try to do anything about it. Didn't try to maybe do one of my hobbies, um... I didn't clean anything I was supposed to clean today, and that is mostly because I forgot. Um, I'm usually pretty good about getting myself out of bed on cleaning days, but since I'm on, like, summer break, um, I just, I don't ever know what day it is, so I just totally forgot it was cleaning day today. So yeah, this, this is what a depression episode looks like, and it's not very pretty, it's low motivation, low energy, and lots of sleeping, and my head's been hurting, um, probably from the depression. And I've tried to make it go away by pretending it's not there. Hasn't worked. And I think we don't talk about parts of depression that aren't sadness. Like, yes, sometimes depression comes with extreme, whoa, extreme feelings of sadness and I've definitely been there before but 
sometimes it's just emptiness and a lack of motivation, a total lack of energy. Sometimes it's just like a dark cloud hanging over your head. And it's not pretty, it's not beautiful, and it's not a trend. There are people who will accuse mentally ill people of just wanting to be, like, trendy. Like, I don't know why anyone would choose this. I could have had, like, a much more productive, fun day if I weren't dealing with depression, like... <laughs> Why, why would I choose this? And I get so mad when I see people, uh, like, saying, you just need to think more positively. I can't think myself into having energy and getting up out of bed. It's just not going to happen. I've also heard some really wacky stuff, like, um, eating fruit cures depression, like... Fruit is not going to fix the chemical imbalance in my brain that is causing depression. I mean, come on. Fruit. I just, I don't, I don't understand, I guess. I don't, I don't understand why people don't get depression. I mean, it's very real, and it can be very scary sometimes for the person suffering from it. Um, so I think it, what needs to happen is we need to normalize it in our society so that people who suffer, A, know what it is, and B, can get the help they need. Um, I think I was suffering from depression before I really knew, you know, what it was. Cause I thought it was just that sadness and crying constantly, but it's not always, and it's different in every person, too. Everybody's symptoms are different, so you can't say, you know, this is depression for everybody, and if you don't have these symptoms, you're not really depressed, like... It, it doesn't work like that. Um, honestly, I'm just glad I managed to get myself into the shower because I was starting to smell and I really needed it. So, yeah, this, this is the face of depression. This is... The reality of depression this is I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> that's another thing about depression it causes just lapses in my memory and in my brain so I'm trying to form a sentence I just I totally lose my train of thought like one minute it's there and uh, the next, it's not, and it's one of those things we don't talk about a lot, because it's not the pretty side of depression that, um, that gets romanticized in the media. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now, and probably go to bed and sleep all through the night because <laughs> that is just the mood I am in right now. Um, so, um, any fellow people caught in Harvey's tracks, uh, be careful, stay safe. Um, and I will see you all in my next video.